Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex, and today we're going to break down my driver's month in review. Or wait, my driver's gross revenue last month. Or anyways, he's been working for me for a month, and that's what we're going to be reviewing today, okay? All right, so first and foremost, it's uh, the same driver. He's a good driver. I like him a lot. His name is Robert. So what happens is he first started for me, and it was a rocky start. Uh, and as you can tell in this video right here, uh, you know there was a couple of little minor things, really. That's it. This past month, honestly, has been uh, really, really good. And I want to jump into the numbers, and I'll show you exactly what he did. So here we are in the air table. I use air table. I've talked about it many times. So I use air table for all the loads. Um, and so here's how I keep track of all the loads, right? And you can see this is all the rate. This is uh, filtered to where it's him. And you can also see that it's filtered. Um, I'm filtering by delivered loads. Okay. We're not talking about picked up loads, delivered loads. So even though we had a load from where we finished, I think, I think in this month it goes down to, okay, it goes up to new upstate New York. And then from there I booked him a load where he delivered then, um, you know, so really it's kind of off a little bit kind of, but I guess those loads will just be delivered next month and we'll just count it from there. But um, so this, he ends up in upstate New York. So obviously you guys know his first week because I already talked about that. It was the, um, it was like Shirts, Texas to College Station. Um, that's where the two pickups were to Kentucky and Nashville. And then in Nashville, I got him a load to St. Louis right here. And then in St. Louis, I got him a load to Kansas City. From Kansas City, we delivered in uh, Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, we jumped over here into Wisconsin. Uh, wait, maybe we can zoom in. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Uh, and then from Wisconsin, uh, I got him. A, that was the first pickup. And then we had, right here, we have the second pickup in Illinois somewhere, uh, Downers Grove, right? And so that is 2,627 miles. Um, and so that's, I believe that was that week that I talked about. I, I talked about, I think I finished up here. So then I started booking him for the weekend. And uh, Google Maps doesn't let you do more than like this many. I think that's like 10. So uh, I have a new tab right here where he picked up the next. So right here is where we picked up the last one or where we stopped, right? Downers Grove, Illinois. You see that? Boom, Downers Grove. So that's where we're starting now. And then I've got a, a Jeep SUV uh, from St. Louis. And all of those three partials went to um, Air Arizona, right? Tucson and two drops in Phoenix. He delivered, even though this was the less efficient route, we delivered the car um, over the weekend and then the load and the other thing on Monday. That was a nice weekend run over Ariz um, through to Arizona. And then from there, we went in Phoenix or in Mesa right there. We picked up two vehicles going to here, which I talked about it in another video. I remember mentioning that. That was $1,200 for two F-150s. And then he delivered this here, deadheaded to the pickup right here. And then he, you know, so after he picked up this first piece here, he then went down to College Station to my direct customer and picked up there as well. And so he had two loads uh, going to Florida. And so right here he delivered his first, or he delivered his first drop right here, and then he delivered his second drop right there, and then he went to right here to pick up the other two vehicles that I booked him from Florida, going to West Virginia, and they that was right here, and then uh, and then he and then I got him a load from West Virginia to Virginia right here, and then I found him that last little load from here to uh, upstate New York. And so on the air table, how it breaks down is, so uh, this is the direct customer load. So this load and this load were the ones um, that I paired up together. And then I booked this little reload and then this load went to Wisconsin. Right here, there was 1,050. Uh, that was for the, or, so it's kind of out of order because it, it's out of order because the Jeep was delivered first, that's why. But even though I picked up this $2,200 load first. So I picked this up first, then picked this up second, and then picked this up third but I delivered the Jeep first because the Jeep you can do over the weekend because it's a customer car. And then here's the, those two trucks that I took from Arizona to Texas that I mentioned. And then here's the other, all the other loads, right? All those little ones. Anyways, long story short, right here at the bottom, you can see $14,500 right here. You see that? $14,500. I hope that shows up on the screen, but anyways, it's $14,500. Now we can, as you can see, I have it all routed, all miles, 26, 27, and then I have 3137 
and then I have 2966. So that's the total mile. So let's calculate the rate per mile right now. So that's a whopping total of 8,730 miles. Uh, that's not bad actually. And if we do the numbers right here, that means we did $14,500 on 8,730 miles, I believe it was. So let's calculate our rate per mile. So $14,500 mile our dollars divided by 8730 miles gives us uh that's wrong <laughs> calculation error okay so fourteen thousand five hundred dollars divide oh i multiplied <laughs> that's funny divided by uh it was eight thousand seven hundred oh gosh eight thousand seven hundred and thirty miles gives us a dollar sixty six and you know that's not that bad uh, because if you recall, I was on the road myself dispatching him from the road, okay? The problem is with that is I, I, how, I, how do I grow that business? How can I dispatch more trucks, excuse me, from the road, right? I mean, that is, I, it's just, it's not going to work. Uh, and so I'm, I'm looking into um, looking into what options I have for this, right? Uh, maybe I can take someone training. Maybe I can find some someone to help out or something like that. I don't know. So it's not a bad rate per mile by any means. Let's say I make about 20 cents a mile to the truck, right? Times the 8,700 miles roughly. That means the company made 1740, right? So 1,740. Now this is why um, even though like that's good money, like I can't quit being an owner operator. Like I can't work for 1740, right? That doesn't work like that. Uh, so that's why I think I mentioned in a previous video not too long ago that it's gonna take about five to six trucks roughly for me just to replace my income as an owner operator. And dispatching five to six trucks is really difficult. Uh, and hopefully by the time I get there, I'll have all the systems kind of worked out. Because in reality, the um, Robert is a trooper. Because the reason I say that is because all month, okay, I was having, I uh, was setting up the payroll and he didn't get paid all month. Ask yourself, you know, it's like you're watching my videos. You like, let's say you like me. You, let's say you want to work for me. You like my videos. You're like, oh, because I want to work for you. I'm excited. And what if the same excuse I kept telling you is, dude, I'm having payroll problems. I can't pay you every week for four weeks. <laughs> like imagine if that was the case. That would be a problem, right? You'd be like, Alex, you you suck. You're, you're a scam company, right? And so, but Robert was a trooper. Not only did we run hard all month and he actually ran recaps. He didn't do a single restart all month. He also didn't get paid all month. Now, granted, uh, it was it was uh, QuickBooks. I hate QuickBooks now with a passion. I will never, ever recommend QuickBooks ever again for anything. Don't use QuickBooks at all, ever, please. They are, It's just absolute worst garbage customer service I've ever experienced. I don't want to make this a rant, but still do not use them. And so I have since signed up with ADP. And goodness gracious, ADP, payroll with ADP was like two clicks. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So I finally set up payroll where I just click, 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 boom, all my drivers are paid and I pay my drivers every single week. Um, and so Robert was thrilled when all the payroll stuff started to work out. He was thrilled to get paid. But in reality, um, you know, it was kind of nice too because then he got like a fat check, right? So, I mean, like there's pros and cons, uh, you know. So, but yeah, there, there was, you know, there's some problems on my end. But dude, he, he worked hard and he was a trooper and he pulled through. And I think he did a good, absolutely solid good month. And then after this month, he was actually able to take like five days off. Um, and that was like, two days, like Thursday, Friday, or something like that, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, um, oh, that was right when Labor Day, so Monday off as well, and then Tuesday, he went back to work, so um, so overall, like, very, very solid month, very, very happy with the driver, and, you know, some more interesting calculations, actually, because right here, I document the weight, this is the, the weight of all the loads, you could kind of see that I hauled, or that Robert hauled 51,900 pounds uh, of weight, and so if you wanted to do a calculation, let's say $14,500 divided by 51,900 pounds, okay? That means I charge 27.9 cents per pound. So right around 30 cents a pound. So if like, like thinking forward as a company owner, I wanna get some standardized pricing and that's why I'm documenting the weight and the length. 
because now I want to be able to build from my from my company's own freight that we haul. I want to be able to document exactly how much I charge per pound or per length or per foot, right? So actually, what is the foot? So we did 222 feet roughly in worth a trailer. So let's do $14,500 divided by 222 gives us 65 bucks a foot. Dude, that's not bad. You know what I mean? Um, what issues did we have? Oh, there was one major issue right here. This, this, this load right here, uh, this 2016 F-150 and 2019 Ranger, right? This load right here. First of all, they still haven't paid me on that load. It's been a month now. I'm waiting. Uh, this is why cars are problematic sometimes and why I always say COD cars only because I'm still waiting to get paid on that. That's problem number one. Problem number two is we were supposed to pick this up on Sunday or Saturday. What was it? No, Sunday morning and deliver in West Virginia Monday morning to set up our week. What happened was the broker, not a very smart person. <laughs> I mean, it happens, you know, uh, but what happened, the broker didn't send us the Mannheim, um, the releases. And so we sat and they don't answer phone calls on the weekend. I sent emails, I texted, I called, I tried to reach out every single way I could and no response. And so I was pissed, absolutely pissed. And all I wanted was a $250 layover charge and they didn't give it. So that broker, not great. Uh, obviously, I'm not trying to shame any company, so I don't know exactly who it was, but but the point remains the same, that you do get a bad apple every once in a while, and so that caused us to then have a little shorter week the that that next week, you know? And so, like, think about this, right? If this load was Saturday and Sunday, then $750 and $900 was all, all he did that week, and then I loaded him up over the weekend, but that was already for the next month. And so, really, if it wasn't for that, then he'd be able to squeeze in some more freight for this month, right? Some delivered freight. So it's a bummer, but just keep in mind, you get one bad thing in there occasionally. But anyways, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Um, what do you guys wanna see? And uh, just let me know. And then I'll try, to, I'll try to show you guys what it's actually like out there. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.